masakit mamatayan ng pangarap. Kung ano mang mamatay sa parte ng buhay mo, masakit talaga yun. And God is not discounting that. God is not saying, huwag kang malungkot, I have better plans for you. Hindi naman toxic positivity. Welcome to Adulting with Joyce Spring. Watch the full video of this episode on my channel, www.youtube.com slash TV. And if you want to level up your adulting game, check out joyspring.com slash collections for my digital products and courses. How do you get to that? How do you get to that level of radical faith wherein you can actually just enjoy God's presence in your life? And God's grace. Yeah, alam mo, Joyce, I'm not saying na parang, wow, walang mas malungkot na bagay. Just last year, I was really getting anxious. Like, Lord, I'm turning, I'm turning 37 next year. Ano pa bang gusto mo for me? I'm getting older. I feel like in my industry, parang um, tumatanda na ako. Madami din akong ganun. And I remember, um, you know, sometimes when peers that you've started with are really advancing in their career. Um, I remember talking to my husband before we had our baby. Talaga umiiyak. Parang wala na akong will. Talaga umiiyak na lang talaga ako. Iyak ako niyan sa kanya. Sabi, Bakit ganoon? I started with this girl. Nauna pa ako sa kanyang mag-host. Nauna pa ako sa kanya. Pero bakit yung opportunities? Lord, bakit sa kanya? And parang hindi naman ako mainis sa kanya. Hindi din ako fully ma-jealous. Kasi, eh, kasi yun yung favor ng God sa, sa buhay niya, mm-hmm. di ba? Pero parang Lord, Sana ko, where do I play a part in in your plan? Basta, it's so painful for me, Joyce, also, because I've had this dream since I was three years old. Na every time manunood ako ng TV, I would see myself, I would act, I would host, I would dance, as in, tapos, alam mo yun, talag na picture ko yun, pero parang masakit, masakit talaga. And then when God is just silent, mas masakit, di ba? Pero I think it helps with what you said kanina na, um, you struggle, you battle it with God, you struggle with God, kasi it's okay to struggle. Parang kay Lord, hindi naman siya intimidated doon eh. We don't need to be civil with God. We don't need to pretend with God na, okay lang po talaga, Lord, ako, hindi po talaga ako, ano. <laughs> diba? Tapos, lalo na naging nanay ako. Kasi, I remember, um, before our daughter came home to us, um, but I also had increase again for teleseries. Parang lagi naman akong may guest and all that. Pero ito ang ganda sana nung rule. Tapos, um, may guest ka dito. I was like, that's fine. And then, um, and then I, you know, parang nga ito ulit. Baka, alam mo yun, baka hindi pala yun talaga yung ano ni God for me. It was, it went well naman, ba? But, um, I started to look at my job na, when, especially when my daughter came, I started to look at my job as, okay, whatever projects that I get, God, I want to be a blessing no matter how small that work is. So yung teleserye na yun, na nag-guest ako, um, sa ko, Lord, I want to bring your presence in this place. Maybe people here don't know who you are, but I want to bring your presence and I acknowledge your presence in this place and your favor in this place. So parang sa ko, paano yun, Lord? Parang kahit na feeling ko malulungkot ako kasi hindi ko na naman to gagawin for a long time kasi magiging nanay na ako kung, kung uuwi man yung anak namin sa amin, di ba? Kasi, um, side note, my daughter is adopted. So that was the time where we were waiting if she was gonna be ours or not. Um, pero you know, I do wanna share this part kasi I had, parang in that show, La, may kasama ako sa tent na na artista. So like, yung nag-uusap, she, I don't know, parang she felt comfortable siguro opening up her life to me. Ang dami ng pretty dark moments in life. And then by on our last day of of taping, ako, last day ko sa show, nag, basta nagkakwento ulit siya, sabi ko, hey, you know, it, this might be weird. Is it okay if I pray for you? So I just prayed for her. And, um... And she started crying and she said, I think you're in this show because of me, for me. And so that's when I realized, Lord, you know what? Yes, I really don't know what you have, what you have for me. I don't know, but you know, you know it, you know it. And so, yes, I'm going to cry. It's okay. I'm going to allow myself to grieve for what could have been. Because sometimes I also imagine what life would be like if I hadn't gotten married at 28 or if I hadn't, um, kung wala pa ako anak. Ngayon, ini-imagine ko pa din yun. So, allowing myself to grieve na masakit talaga eh. Kasi may grand plan ka for yourself eh. E, tapos biglang sabi ni God, let's scrap that plan. I'm gonna allow your dream to die. Masakit mamatayan ng pangarap. Kung ano mang mamatay sa parte ng buhay mo, masakit talaga yun. And God is not discounting that. 
God is not saying, huwag kang malungkot, I have better plans for you. Hindi naman toxic positivity. <laughs> si Abraham nga, si Abraham, si Abraham nga acknowledged the fact that he was old. Diba? Na parang, mm-hmm. ha, matakalak ba talaga kami? He acknowledged the fact. He faced the facts, but God still fulfilled his plans. So sabi ko, sige, I'm gonna acknowledge the fact I am this age. Hindi na to pag yung pangarap ko. Iiyak ako. Pero Lord, sige, uh, even if I don't feel like it, I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna take that, that step and accept na, ah, sige, um, hindi ko man nakikita. Alam ko may better plans ka pa rin for me. And there was a time pa, Joyce, I was kind of resisting because where I work now, I'm one of the regular hosts of the 700 Club Asia, which is a Christian um, a Christian TV program on GMA and uh, we're also online. There was a time I was kind of bitter pa kay God. Ko, Lord, naman, ito yung gusto ko, di ba? Parang okay sa akin kasi Christian ako, pero parang pwede ba, Lord, yung medyo kumigit ang kabuhayan pala, ano, ng <laughs> mga project. Pwede ba? Pero parang, ano, eventually, yung talaga yung, they ke- keep asking me to come back, they keep asking me to come back. So may mga nagko-close na door, so sa ko, you know what, it's time to get a clue. I'm gonna get in on what God is doing and stop resisting. Kasi the more I stop resisting, mas magiging miserable yung buhay ko. So, all that to say is, I think we need to allow ourselves to grieve. And if it doesn't feel joyful right now, God understands that. But what's not okay is, um, you know, totally dropping um, God's Lordship in our lives. Kasi the mas mapapahamak tayo doon eh. Parang I've learned na um, the safest place really is where God wants you to be. Kesa yung ipipilit ka na Lord bless my plans ha. Versus Lord, what are your plans? Because I want to get in on it because you know better. At saka, na-realize ko nga, say, Lord, 13 years na akong nasa Pilipinas. Mula nung iniwan ko yung trabaho ko sa Amerika. <clears throat> Nag-expire na nga yung nursing license ko. Kailangan ko i-renew if I want to. But every time I wonder if this is still for me, God gives me jobs na parang, ah, okay. Ah, okay, so okay. Ito, para sa akin pa nga to. So, so I've learned to keep in step with the Holy Spirit, keep in step with, okay, because He's going to shed just enough light for the step that you're on. Mm-hmm. And it really takes, it's hard, but it take, but when you exercise your muscle of faith, it gets simpler, not maybe easier, but it gets simpler to say, ah, okay, sige, God, uh, go ako sa plano mo. Kasi ayoko masira yung buhay ko. Parang mas natatawa ako masira yung buhay ko. Kung magwawalwa lang ako sa grief ko, di ba? Parang gano'n. No, but I, I love that. Kasi you were talking about how it can coexist. Your grief yeah. and your faith can coexist. I feel like sometimes people think that there's this, well, there's a false dichotomy between grief and faith wherein I cannot grieve or have these feelings and be disappointed or hurt or be feel this pain and still call myself a faithful Christian because if you're faithful, you should be joyful in whatever season God gives you. But God is a God of wisdom. He knows. He knows us, diba? He knows us so well. And sobrang totoo yun eh, na it can coexist with each other. And it's a, it may be a difficult season, but the Lord knows us and the Lord really will... Hindi ko siya explain it, but I I exactly understand what you're what you're saying and what you're talking about because it's also something that I've experienced even in my own career. Parang nararamdaman ko yung redirection ni God eh. Every time meron ako ng something na gusto kong gawin, ni redirect niya ako na ende. Ito yung plan ako eh. And yun nga, you have to keep in step with the Holy Spirit. And one more thing, I want to acknowledge that it's so important to not expect all the 100 steps in front of you to be seen all at the same time. Yeah. The Holy Spirit shedding light on the one step that you need to take, that's it. That's really all you need. And then it's it's really a matter of having faith in the Lord and then just working through it, working through whatever it is that you're you're going through with the Lord and knowing that He walks side by side you. That's it for this episode of Adulting with Joy Spring. If you liked this podcast, please don't forget to use the hashtag Adulting with Joy Spring and also check out www.joyspring.com for the show notes and tag me on social media with you know it at Joy Spring. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Paalam!